Hey everybody, I'm just doing a simple texture video you can do. You can learn how to do this texture within five minutes. Basically, there's two different textures here. What we're going to do is always start with a joint compound with your textures. Most textures, pretty much majority of the textures, the consistency of the mud is a heavy pancake batter. With this texture types that I'm doing, you can use a thin pancake batter to a medium pancake batter. These are basically two different type of brushes. It's a crow's foot, daub texture, brush texture. There's several names, but the technique's pretty much the same. The finished product's pretty much the same. And then I'm using a paint roller, just basic regular paint rollers to give you a stipple type texture. Easy two type of textures anybody can learn how to do in five minutes or less. You don't have to be a drywall professional to do these two type of textures. Maybe you're just doing a small project or something and you want to put some type of texture on. You definitely don't want to start with a spray knockdown. So you want to do a simple, easy project. This is a texture you can learn how to do. Stipple designs are achieved by either the roller or the brushes. If you don't have a hand mixer like I mixed earlier, then you can mix it with your electric mixer. You just want to make sure your joint compound texture is nice and creamy before you do any texturing project. Creamy, clean, consistent mud. Pancake batter thickness. You need some consistency so it sticks to the tools. When you're done with your tools, always throw them in your water bucket to get them out of the way. Keep them from drying out. We're going to start with this with the roller texture. I'm just going to use a little roller just in case you're doing a small area. Just dunk it in the bucket. Put the mud on the work area and just feather the area out with the materials. Depending on the consistency and the thickness of the texture you're going for, the design, you just work with the materials until you achieve the design you want. Start with the small work area and then work your way out. Keep on going. These smaller rollers are good for smaller projects, but if you're trying to do a larger project, use a regular roller. You're just dipping in and taking off the extra mud, just like you're painting, but you're painting with mud. We're leaving a drywall stipple texture with a roller. It's not a common texture, that's why I'm doing this outside just to show you guys basic tip video on how to do a simple texture. Nice stipple design done with a cheap roller, easy joint compound, a roller, $10 in tools and materials and you can texture your walls. Nice roller, you want to keep the pattern consistent, keep it even, it looks nice. I like the stipple look. If you want a thinner stipple look, then you would just thin down your muds. Here we're going to do crow's foot or brush texture with the brush. Both the textures pretty much look the same. The brush texture has a little more stipple design, round stipples from the brush design. But basically it's easy texture. The roller is the easiest to do. With these daub brushes are nice because sometimes you can put them on extension poles so you can reach higher points ceilings, higher walls, anything that you can't reach. So it's good you can use an extension pole. If not, you're going to have to get on the ladder and just move along. Do a two foot by two foot section. Move yourself along to the next section. Just small patch areas and move along to the next area. Same thing here. I'm just doing a little brush. These are the most common ones. Same thing here. Dip it in the mud. Take off the extra mud. And you're just daubing the wall area. Just daub, 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 daub. Sometimes you want to just put all the materials on the work area and then just work the mud until you get the texture design you're looking for. Sometimes with these daub textures, you can go every which way, up and down, twist it, turn it. There's many different techniques. So whatever technique you're trying to achieve in the design, that's what you're going to work with. Sometimes you might want to practice on a piece of scrap, piece of drywall, sheet rock like I'm doing here, but there's really nothing to it. Easy, simple texture you can learn how to do. Maybe you're not doing a drywall project. Maybe you're just trying to do a craft project or something that has a texture. So this would be an easy texture type to do with a thin joint compound. You can put every which way, twist, turns. But you want to keep the, the pattern consistent. Keep a nice same pattern as you move along. Easy, easy, easy textures you can do. Cheap brush like this, they're probably only like 10 bucks if that. Sometimes they're hard to find, so you might have to search for one. I've even seen guys use a, go as far as using a broom 
but try to find a drywall texture. This is another style, different style. You can change it. Same thing here, dunking it in the mud, take off the excess. This one covers a lot of ground, so you can really do a whole wall or a whole ceiling very quickly. You're just dobbing it in. And same thing here, you just keep feathering it out until you get the design you're looking for. You could put twist and turn, but look at this texture. It's really nice. It's a nice stipple crow's foot. Depending on your ge geography, there's different names for it, but it's all the same. Easy texture. It was done a long time ago, and it's still used today. So I hope these put work. Once you're done with your area, always clean up right away. Wash out your tools, cap your bucket, and clean up your work area. You don't want your mud setting up and drying up. It's easier to clean once you finish the project. Crow's foot and brush textures, rollers, they're very messy.